Hello guys, I'm back with another video. In this video, I'm going to show you how I created a Unix-like shell from scratch using C. This shell does everything that your normal bash shell would do. So before getting into the video guys, I want to show you something. This is the GitHub uh, organization. Let's call it a GitHub Coders Hub. Uh, here I've given every project source code that I did. You can check this out guys. I will drop a link below in this video. So let's get into our EXSH shell. So this is a custom Unix shell in C. This is known as XSH shell. So it supports all the Unix-like shells functionalities such as pipes, input-output redirection, and built-in commands. So yeah, let's get into the future of this shell. So it has interactive prompt, as I said before, it does everything that a normal shell would do. But creating this guys is super simple. You're just going to have three main components. I will show that to you. So this is the uh, com command execution. We are having pipes, input output redaction, and everything. So for getting started, uh, you just have to make, uh, I created a make file. So you just have to do that. So here you see guys, this is the, XSH architecture. So firstly, we are going to have a lexer. It's just similar to how you would create a language. It's just a, um, the third part, it differs from how you create a language. Firstly, it's gonna have lexer, parser, and executor. In the third part of creating a language, you would have the abstract syntax tree. So firstly, lexer, it's going to form the tokens, and parser, it's going to form a command link list based on the lexer and executor it will execute the commands and i assure you guys that executor is the most interesting part in the shell so i've created a block for this because most of you guys said that i uh, you couldn't understand these things based on the video so for your own reference i created a block so let's go go get inside the block so firstly this is uh what is a shell so shell takes the commands from keyboard and gives them to the operating system to perform. So these are just basic things. And there are three main steps that a shell, any shell would do. Firstly, it's going to read from your CLI and it's going to parse, which is it's going to analyze the input, break it down into meaningful components and then execute it. So in the execution step, we are going to have three main system calls. The first thing is fork and the second thing is exec VP, which is a uh, which, which is going to create the child process image. And the third thing is wait, which is, going, which, which is for the parent, which is going to wait for the children process to complete. So firstly, the Lexer part, it's going to tokenize the input, and that's it, that was, that's what Lexer does. And in the parser, we are going to build a command link list. So for the command link list, uh, we are going to be uh, we are going to be dividing that tokens into uh, into a form of the command node. So argv it's going to contain all the commands, which is ls slash uh, hyphen l and all the commands until a pipe is reached. So if uh, for a normal command, it's going to have a normal link list argument v arrays. But when a pipe comes, it's going to create it, it's going to add a new node for uh, for sending the output of the first command to the second command. So we can see that also. And the third thing, that's the parser. It's going to uh, create a command link list. And the third thing is the executor, which is the heart of the shell, guys. It's super important and it's super super interesting. And the first thing is a uh, pipe piping okay okay so what does piping does so it's going to uh, get the output of one process and send it uh, send it to another another process as an input so uh, command so here's what the pipe command does the right okay guys so file descriptors the uh, it's going to have the 0, 1, 2, which is the standard input. Uh, we're just going to have the keyboard that you type the letters is going to be the standard input. Then standard output, it's going to be the terminal, uh, the output that you see in the terminal. And standard error is the error that you see in the terminal. And the remaining file descriptors are for 
opening a file, closing a file, and for opening a pipe, uh, writing to the pipe and reading to the pipe. The first uh, two uh, file descriptors uh, numbers that we have created inside the array for the pipe is going to be represent it represented in the below uh, numbers of the file descriptors, uh, which are the empty file descriptors, or it's just going to assign a number. And that's what uh, the pipes does. So you're just creating a pipe for sending the output of one process as an input to another process and then forking so yes guys forking is also super interesting to look at so firstly what does forking does forking is going to create a new process and the new process is going to be the child of the original process which is the parent so before forking we are going to have the process of the, of the shell, which is the main shell that you are interacting to. So it's going to have all the components of the shell. So shell program that is running and the stack data and the file descriptors of the global shell. And after forking, we are going to get two processes, which is going to be greater. Firstly, the process of the parent from the shell, you're, uh, from the shell you're forking. So the parent process is the shell. So that's going to be here. And the child process is going to be the exact copy of the parent process. So it's going to have the same file descriptor, same data, same stack uh, function calls and everything. So that's what forking does. And inside the fork, after the forking was done, we are going, the fork is going to return us uh, these values. The first thing is the parent process. So the parent process is going to return the process ID of the child process. And for each of the child process, they are going to have their own process IDs as zero to denote that this is a child process which is being extracted, which is being created from the parent process. So forking is just creating the process. And execute VP. So yeah, this is uh, this is also interesting. I'm just saying that everything is interesting because everything is interesting indeed. So yeah, this is also a system call. It replaces the current processes with a new program. So what it does is uh, it's going to, okay, let me just go uh, go to this. Before the execute, uh, before the execute vector path, thing uh the child is going to have okay guys before I execute a uh, vpad thing we are going to do, uh we are going to do a redirection for the child using a uh, dupe 2 so what this dupe 2 does is it's going to get the file descriptor of the uh it's going to get the file descriptor of the output file so here is the program that i did uh, done. Uh, so here it's the output which is going to be, which is going, the open is going to send a file descriptor as the uh, value for the output variable. So using dupe2, what we are doing is we are going to just um, point the file output uh, which is pointing to, which is having, let's say that 5 is the file descriptor for the file output .txt. It's going to make the standard output point to that particular file, which is the file descriptor of the current output dot, uh, output dot text open is pointing to. So uh, it's going to point it over there. Why? Which means in, uh, in a general standard output, you're going to get the output displayed on the screen. But in this program, we, are, we don't want the output to be displayed on the terminal. We want the output to be uh, inserted into the output.txt. So what, the, what this uh, dupe2 does is it's going to point to that particular file, which is the file descriptor of the output is pointing to. After pointing, uh, after we point that standard output of the child process to the file, we are just going to remove the file descriptor of the original output.txt file uh, that gave when we opened the file. So guys, it's just a redirection thing. You're just going to redirect the file descriptor of the output file to the standard output. That's it. And yeah, guys, before that, before exception, uh, execute VP, we are going to uh, we are going to do this. And after execute VP, after we did uh, the execute VP for the particular process, look at the diagram. What it uh, what is happening here? So 
you are going to uh, so let's just say that i did the ls command on my ter on my shell on my terminal so that ls command is going to be created uh that that is going to be loaded from the bin into the process into the child process and everything every data uh, everything that is located in the ls file it's going to be loaded inside a child process which is going to override everything that uh, we had before uh, we had before when we clone the parent when we forward the parent so yeah guys so it's going to load everything into the child process and when we execute that process it's going to show us what the ls command was intended to do that's it so that's what execution does and then we after the child process runs the bin and uh, that's how uh, the output of the ls is going to be and then the child process finishes the execution and the parent process will wait until the child process finishes the uh, finishes its own process its own program you can say so yeah uh, and it's continue waiting for the next command and finally our program will execute as smooth as a butter so ls we are going to display this and then uh, we are going to cat everything and yes guys that's the entire working process of the shell so what we did here is we just had a lexer parser and the executor for executing the command so guys let's move on to the code so yes guys this uh this is the source code of the x shell so here we have the executor okay these are just the header files so this is the executor so we are having a pipe for sending the commands and we are just forking it and then what we are doing we are just going to redirect the uh, redirect the output of the uh, child process and we are opening the file and just we are sending the file descriptors using dupe2 and we are waiting for the file and then we are moving on to the next node so in the lexo we are just going to tokenize it using strt ok so it just tokenizes based on the space and tab and the new line and then uh, in the parser we are going to have a linked list or presentation of the commands so we are just going to create a linked list and if there is a pipe we are just going to skip it uh yeah so that's it so let's run this guys let's run this so make run so yes guys look at that we entered inside the okay let me just zoom in for you guys okay we entered into the shell let's just ls what it's there so this is these are the files that i have in my current directory and let me just cat the hello.txt hello from ex shell so look at that it's looking it's beautiful so yeah guys so let me just uh ls and do a pipe command for grabbing the main dot c so yes guys look at that you're having main dot c so yes guys that's how the shell that i created work and uh, if you guys have more features to add please uh please work this repo clone this repo and make your branch and do the contributions and we are rootsprout it's uh basically an open source and free github community anyone can join you just don't have to pay your money for uh accessing for learning about these wonderful concepts and tools so that's it guys uh, please like share and subscribe see you guys again with the next awesome video bye bye